I'm here with Toyama San, the director of Forbidden Sirens 2. Um, we're about to have a chat to him and a look at the game and see just how it's coming along. Toyama san, can you tell me a little bit about the trailer that we're about to see? The story basically takes place on an island called Yamishima, where 29 years ago there was a blackout and all of the people on the island disappeared shortly after the blackout and it, the island was basically abandoned. The story starts in the present where several different people with different motivations, different reasons, go to the island and once they get there, a siren goes off and these people find themselves in a completely different world where there are uh, different kinds of characters, uh, dead people, zombies, etc., that they need to deal with. And that's where the story really starts. One of the key aspects of the Siren series is the multi-character aspect and the multi-story aspect of it. So there are different characters and different, each of them have their own stories. Uh, this time we've expanded the characters somewhat. So there's even a member of the self-defense force, for example, who's a strong kind of a military character. But there's also a little boy character as well that comes out in the story. Certainly by improving a lot of the, some of the action aspects of the, from the previous version, uh, we've made the game a lot more interesting, a lot more scary for the users. But really the emphasis this time is on light and dark and the difference between what happens in the light and what you can't see happening in the dark. And the fact that you can't always really see what's going on um, is a key aspect to creating a sense of horror. The other thing is that we really created a beautiful sense of light and spotlight and dark and shadow that gives a unique atmosphere to the game. Certainly, in terms of creating the light and the dark and those, those kinds of effects and visuals, it's not so much that we're at the limit of the hardware that's available now, but rather that we looked at the PS2 platform and decided to take it as far as we could go intentionally. And so that's really what we've done with the, with the visuals this time, is really pushed it as far as we thought we could go. Mm. For Japan, the game is going to be available in February. For other world markets, we're not ready with a release date just yet. 